All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. Now in today's video, it's gonna be a little bit different. I'm going to be showing you three advantages. Uh, these are ultimately blessings that came out of coronavirus. These are things that I've seen a lot of coaches do really well at, and I've also seen a lot of people crumble. Um, and they have not done these things at all. So whether you have survived so far uh, throughout this crisis, or if you are still training, um, you're still working with clients, whether that be online or offline, um, this video will apply to you, right? And I have here, this is, on my list here, there's three different things that I wrote down. And um, I feel like these are very important details and they're if statements. So this is if you went online, then these things will happen. And I'm talking from experience because like I did go online and, but I was online way before all this happened. So I, consider myself not not lucky um, but I moved online very quickly when I started to see what's happening in China right so here's what it is here so if you went online you can now have an extra income stream right that's if you continue to evolve now here's what I mean by that if you go on Instagram right now you'll see Everybody's a Zoom trainer, right? Everybody's doing it. Now, the problem is, I'd say 90% of coaches that are on Zoom that were training clients, they weren't charging for it. They were trying to um, get their clients to, to stay involved with their program, but they weren't charging. They were doing it for free because they didn't charge because they've never done anything online. They didn't feel confident that they could sell it. And they didn't think parents would buy it. Those are all self-limiting beliefs. And I knew that was going to happen to a lot of people when this crisis hit. Right? Because how can you expect to sell something online uh, if you've never done it before to all of your current clients? Now, there are some people that... You know, a lot of these coaches are in our mastermind where they just flipped on the online switch and they transitioned every single client into their program. And they were at, able to add clients online into the program, right? There's, I can count 10 people right now off the top of my head. Uh, they went from doing like 20,000 a month, right? to doing like almost $30,000 a month when coronavirus hit, right? Why? Because they turned on the online switch, they were confident making that change, and then because they had things set up, they were able to transition and get new clients, people who didn't even know about them, to join their program like in March, in April, and in May, right? So. That might be something you, you, you may not believe. You might be like, no, there's no way that would happen. Yes, that did happen. And that's because they turned on the online switch. They had the recurring payment set up. And the old dinosaurs who weren't doing online payments, like how I've been talking about the last four and a half years on this channel, those people got screwed. And I'll tell you, there's a couple dinosaurs in my area who train kids in soccer that like I've even told them like and they're not competitors but I've even told them uh, some of their clients have ended up coming into my program because I had things set up right I had things set up and if you go back and, and, and you can verify this if you go back on YouTube I had a long two long videos about coronavirus and I, t I told everybody what to do and I know a lot of people ignored me they didn't think it was going to be as serious I did my part, that's all I'm gonna say. I did my part, and I did my part with helping coaches in our mastermind, um, and it's been cool to see 
those who've stuck with it, they've gotten more stuck in. And they had things set up online, so they were able to generate income during this time. Some people were able to add more clients. Now, at the end of that sentence, I said, if you evolve online. So if you're just going to continue doing training, that's great. When, th when things go back to normal, all right, I hear some people say, well, when things go back to normal, I'll be able to go back and train. Well, when's that going to be? All right. Is that going to be this fall? Is that going to be never? Is that going to be tomorrow? I, I don't know. All right. I'm not texting Trump during the day asking him when the country's going to reopen. <laughs> right. But what I will say is I don't want to rely on anybody. I want to take matters in my own hands and be like, all right, you know, if things do go back to normal, how can I evolve online to where I can still have that as an, an another income stream, but I'm not going to be able to do training. So what can I do? Then we start thinking about other opportunities and, um, I'll, I'll tell you, cause I got nothing to hide here. Uh, I'm launching a new business. It's called buildmymastermind.com. I already bought the domain name. I already have it set up. Can't go visit that website right now, but that's for coaches who are looking to build their own mastermind. Like, and right now I have three masterminds and I'm going to be launching our fourth and then we're going to be moving into that business. And that idea came from the time I had during coronavirus. I was thinking um, I wasn't going to, you know, get a whooping <laughs> during that time. I was thinking, how can I evolve? What can I do? And then, you know, I created a, a mastermind for kids. And that little goal that I have on my whiteboard, if you watch my videos, you know what I'm talking about, for that program. All right. And I'm going to be showing coaches exactly step by step how to do that sort of stuff by creating a mastermind. All right. It's going to be something I launch coming up. Um, that's not just going to be for coaches. That's going to be for, for any type of business owner. Um, and that's why I'm saying if you evolve online, then you'll be able to have something online forever. You, not just this band-aid that I know a lot of coaches looked at. They were like, oh, well, I'm just going to train kids online. Like if things go back to normal, are you just going to turn that off? I would recommend not turning anything off online. I'd recommend continuing, but pivoting a little bit. All right. And hopefully I'm planting some seeds in your mind right now to start doing that and start preparing for that. So you have an extra income stream when things go back to normal. All right. Next one here. If you went online, and this is a good one. If you went online and the sport that you coach is outside, you'll never need to do rescheduled sessions again. All right. That's probably been one of my favorite things about what's happened is now that all of my clients are conditioned to training online with me, well, guess what? If it rains for a week or it rains for a month or it rains for a year or coronavirus happens again or something weird happens um, to me and I'm unable to go out to the field that day, well, guess what? I'm going to be able to resume my sessions on Zoom and that's going to be part of my contract. If you're part of our mastermind, you have the, the contract and agreement form that I give to parents. I'm updating that at the end of this month. And when I update that, it's going to be in effect for all of my clients. And that's going to be something that's going to really help protect me in the future. Um, cause like I do everything outside, um, with my soccer Academy and I'm excited about that. Cause that means I get to work, work from home more. Um, and I don't have to worry about the weather. Like that's going to be a non-factor for me. Right. And that should be a non-factor for you. That's if you had things set up online, it's not going to work for you. If you have, did not use zoom or you weren't doing some sort of online platform because your clients are going to, to not be on the same page as you if, the, unless they had been doing it. All right. So that can be a huge blessing. All right. Next one here. Whoops. If you went online 
and your competition didn't. You'll swallow up your competition's clients, online and offline. Now, I'm gonna just be straight up. There's, in my city, there, like I live in San Antonio, Texas. Oh, there's a lot of people here, uh, close to 2 million people now uh, that I believe live in the city. I, I live out in the country, I live pretty far um, away from the actual city now. But what I will say is there's a lot of coaches now that are that were trying to do this full time. They were pretty close. Um, there are some people who had facilities that kind of shut down during this time. Um, there, there's a lot of coaches in my area and it's honestly, it's been really cool to see how many coaches there are now. Cause like back when I started, there was me, one other dude, and then there was like two other people in like basketball and tennis. That's it. They were doing private training. No one else, private group training. No one else was doing it. And, um, now there's a lot, which is awesome. I, I like that. But the problem is those who didn't go online were making zero dollars. And if they had a facility, if they had a uh, payroll, if they had like a lot of overhead in their business and they are still unable to train right now, like they're in a rough financial spot. That's just straight up. They're in a rough financial spot. And for those who didn't go online in my area, or for those who didn't go online in your area, like, the person who was online is the one who is now the most established. Because like, I look at some of my competition's clients, like, when they decided to shut everything down, those kids needed help, right? They, they don't want to just sit around. So I ended up picking up clients that I knew were training with other coaches. Why? Because I got stuck in with what I was doing. I didn't shy away. So I added clients from my competition. Now, what's going to happen when things go back to normal? Are, are those new clients that I got going to go train with Billy Bob again? No, they're, they're with me. Uh-uh. They're in my program now. Right? They're in my program. Why? Because I got stuck in with it. Like, I did an unbelievable amount of phone calls. Like <laughs> the amount of the amount of like Facebook messaging, uh, phone calls, one-on-one -on -one emails, um, like getting on Zoom calls with parents. I I spent so much time doing that very early on, and I'll tell you, it was it was annoying, it was stressful, it was uh, frustrating. I lost my voice several days, uh, but I'll tell you, it was worth it. And that's why those who went online early and those who stuck with it, you will be able to swallow up your competition's clients. Now, I, I've kind of changed my philosophy on this the last couple of years. I used to be very ruthless with my competitors and think that, you know what, like everyone should be training with me. And if they're not training with me, then like, I don't like them. Like, I used to think that. And that's because I used to hang out with people who thought that way. And then I realized, you know what? Like, it's, it's not about that at all. This is about helping kids. And every coach in my area is going to have their piece of the pie. My, pie's, my piece is going to be the biggest. <laughs> but uh, that's just going to be how it's going to go. Right? And knowing that, though, it's, it's not going to be about running people out of business. It's, it's always going to be about how can you evolve your business so you are at the front. You are the leader of the industry in your area. That's what I'm looking for. That's what I strive to do. Uh, and that's what you should be striving to do too. And that's why if you went online, the clients that your competition was, was coaching, they, they don't have anyone that's helping them right now. And if they're still... Right now in May, if they are still unable to train those clients, like, that's your responsibility to be reaching out. And, and that's why I said, like, those who have data uh, and you're emailing your data, I talked about that in the last video. Like, that's your opportunity.
to get more clients during this time. And I'm going to ask you this question. And hopefully you can write this down, right? If there's kids in your area that are not getting help right now, they're not training, they don't have a mentor, they desperately need help with their confidence, they desperately need help with their skills, and there's no one helping them right now, right? It's your fault. It's your fault. Even if they had another coach that was helping them, right? I'm not gonna blame the other coaches in my area for not stepping up right now. Like most people were freaking out, they didn't know what to do, right? But I will say that if there's a kid in my city who needs help, it's my obligation to get in front of their parents. That's on me, right? I'm not, I'm not gonna sleep all at night knowing that, oh man, there's all these kids that are training with all these other coaches that aren't doing anything right now, so they're just sitting around. I don't like that. I want to help kids. Like, it's pretty clear I want to help kids. Uh, I wouldn't have shot close to 400 videos on this YouTube channel that's geared around helping kids and getting clients, right? So ask yourself that question. Like, are you going to be able to sleep well at night knowing that there's a lot of kids that you have not gotten in front of their parents yet, and you can still do that during this time? And we're not stealing clients from our competition. I'm not doing that. I'm not poaching anybody. I have something that's set up. It's working. So why would I not put myself out there more so I can get more clients, so I can help more kids, right? So I can better provide for, for my wife and I, right? So again, these three things that I went through here, I promise you those can be huge blessings that can come out of this. So those who evolve what they do online, that's an extra income stream, right? And I promise you there's so many opportunities that I've been able to see and, and help other coaches develop over the past eight to 12 weeks. Like it's been crazy to see the different things that uh, coaches are uh, developing. And I'm talking every sport basketball, football, soccer, personal training, uh, nutrition, uh, golf, hockey. Like I've seen every little thing and it's been really cool to see coaches who've stepped up during this time. And the ones who are stepping up, they're the ones who are gonna be really rewarded when things go back to normal. And guess what? Guys, I'm telling you, if things don't go back to normal, this is the new reality. Like. Doing everything online is in reality. So it's gonna force everybody to learn marketing. It's gonna force everyone to learn sales online. It's gonna force everyone to start writing emails. And I don't know, like, I hate, I hate to say this, but I've been talking about this stuff the last four and a half years on YouTube. And that's why sometimes I, I get frustrated when I make these videos because I know not every coach takes, takes action because it's free. And that's why we have our mastermind because when you have skin in the game, you're more likely to take action. When you're getting my help, you're more likely to be accountable and get the results, right? So I'm going to end this video very simple. If everything I just said makes sense and you have not got set up online or you want to scale what you're doing online, all right, this is very clear. I'm looking for two coaches that are going to be working with me one-on-one -on -one over the next 30 days. And here's how it's set up. I do a half-day workshop with you online, all right? That's three hours. We have a three-hour Zoom call. We dig through your business. I'm going to show you exactly how you can be profiting more during this time and in the future with your current clients in person or uh, clients online. And we're going to be looking to see how we can scale what you're doing, how you can make more sales, how you can impact more clients, right? Then from there, 30 days, uh, you're gonna get instant access to me on Facebook every single day. Ask me any question, uh, I'm gonna hold you accountable, I'm going to be coaching you during that time, right? And this way, in 30 days, you see a big bump in your business. That's what I'm looking for. I've already done this, right? Just so you know, like I have, Coaches in Australia right now that are part of this program right now. Um, I have coaches in the US, uh, coaches in the UK that I'm helping during my 30-day program. So I have two spots open. 
If you want one of those spots, right? This is an investment, right? I'm not doing it for free, <laughs> right? So if you have a business, you're coachable, you want to work together, you want to crush it over the next 30 days, you want to see a bump in your business and you need accountability, I'm your guy, all right? All you have to do is text me at 210-960-5771 and please follow these instructions, right? Because people text me all the time uh, like just questions and they don't even tell me who they are, right? So don't ask me a question, just say, I'm interested in the one-on-one -on -one program and my name is boom and this is where I live, boom, and this is the niche I'm in. So I'm in soccer, boom, all right? So tell me you're interested in the one-on-one -on -one program, tell me your name, tell me the city that you're in and tell me the sport that you coach. When you do that, right, that increases your chances of getting into my program, right? So I know who you are, I know you're interested, and then from there, I'm gonna set up a quick call with you. Once we set up that call together, all right, we're gonna schedule it, we're gonna talk for 15 to 20 minutes, I'm gonna be asking you questions to make sure you're a good fit, and once I know you're a good fit, all right, we can either move forward, all right, or you don't have to move forward, it's up to you, okay? Again, I have looking for two spots, I only have time for two spots because this takes me a lot of time. All right, we're spending half a day together, essentially, and 30 days one-on-one. -on -one. So that's it. Message me at 210-960-5771. Get your spot. When these spots sell out, I'm just not going to have any, any more time to be able to do it. So that's it. Uh, I'll see you soon. Yeah.